uh, on the table? Yeah. This no. is a gear oil pump. Yes, sir. Uh, air cool goes like. Yeah, VW, right? Yeah. Yep. This is the gear. This is gear oil pump. You don't have this one on the table. So this is the gear oil pump. This is different than the one you have on the table. Let's go back here, the types of, of oil pump you have. We have, you have gear, sorry, you have, sorry, you have gear type, plunger type, rotor type. The one you have is called rotor type. Remember what I told you about, you have inner rotor and outer rotor, and you have to measure using filler gauge and see the, how much clearance be, between them. So the one you have on the table is, Rotor type. This, so here, this is the gear type. Here is the rotor type. This is the one you guys have yeah. on the. We'll, we'll talk about it, but just know for now that this is the one you have. This is the second one. It's called plunger oil pump. Okay, what I'm doing, drawing right here, that's the plunger oil, oil pump. I'm going to show you how, how it works. You have a tube right here, you have a tube, and you have a plunger. That's a plunger. So this one's going to do what? It's going to go up. What goes up? What's the head of the oil? It's going to go right here. This is the chip pad. This is the chip pad. So the chip pad will open and allow oil in. Designed by different engineers, by different manufacturers. So what do you have? You have the you have the valve, you have the plunger, you have the spring control arm, you have cam drive gear. <coughs> Let's see if we have a picture for it. Did you write it down?
This one for what? Guys, this one for what? This is for two-stroke engine, remember that. The plunger tire for two-stroke engine. The rotor and the gear for four-stroke engine. So this one is for two-stroke engine. Let's see the picture. Okay. Here is the plunger. Can you see this one here? That is the what? That's the oil. The oil goes right here. This one is connected to what? It's connected to what? To the, to the crank. So we have the gears and we have the plunger. I care a lot about the one we have on the table, which is what? Rotor oil pump. How many pieces we have? You have one here? Yes. Two. Interior rotor, outer, and housing. This is the one I care about because we have it on the table and most bikes have it. Capable in de delivering what? High volume and high pressure. Remember, you have to have volume and pressure. You have to have volume and pressure. Let me ask you: If you have, if you have collapsed oil filter, just write it down and then I'll ask you. Just write it down. Okay, ready? If you have collapsed oil filter, you have collapsed oil filter, will collapsed oil filter affect the volume or affect the pressure? Think about it before you answer. Both. You have collapsed oil filter. Both. The answer is both. It will affect the pressure and volume if you have collapsed oil filter. So here is, everybody did that uh, testing on that oil pump. So here is the rotor, rotor oil pump. So which, which, which gauge, what kind of tool are you going to use to? Uh, filler gauge. Filler gauge, correct. So on one time you're going to put what? Between the inner and outer, you put filler gauge right here. There's a number. If you go through, it's bad. It's bad. So the service manager is going to give you a number. Pick up that filler gauge with the number, and if you go through, it's bad. That means you have a lot of gap, clearance between the parts. Except would you replace the whole thing or just that actual? No, no, the whole thing comes together. To answer your question, to answer your question, there is no number on this piece. 0.11 service limit. Mm -hmm. So there is no number. How can you how can you order that piece? If you see a number on that piece, now we know that piece can be replaced by itself. Which is that? 
I feel I'm in high school here. <laughs> not, not, not to call it. Okay. 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 Okay